Hello everyone, the heavens opened earlier and the rain shows no inclination to stop. We're looking forward to the game anyway. I'm Derek Ray and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And you can really sense the anticipation in the crowd ahead of kickoff with their respective league seasons about to get underway. It's Coventry City and they face Nottingham Forest. Well, the atmosphere is incredible inside the stadium, Derek. There's a real sense of optimism amongst the fans about the new season and what it might bring. It's been a long wait, but hopefully we get a great game to kick their campaigns off. A very good tackle. Not to be advised, giving the ball away in that position. Well, the fans have been wondering how this might go. It is his debut game. Stuart, what should we be looking for from him today? Well, they needed to reinforce up front, to be honest. They were looking a little light, and there's going to be big expectations on him to hit the ground running. Hopefully, he doesn't disappoint. Can they trouble the opposition this time? But really sticking to the task defensively. What can they do to stop him running at them? Can he put them in front? Well, it might still work out for them. Bad pass. Well, what a chance that was to take the lead. But you have to give the goalkeeper credit. What a brilliant save that was. Allen. Now with Hammer. Fluency of movement. This looks promising. Now they're on the scent of something positive. And the cross is very much on. Well, a poor ball and easy for the keeper. Hammer. Throw ins given. Gustavo Hammer. Allen. Callum O'Hare. Effective challenge. Moving into the advanced position. A long way out. But the goalkeeper didn't have to work quite as hard as I thought he might initially. Hammer Todd Kane Still passing it around with authority Able to deal with the threat Can't argue with that little move Full credit, wonderful stop well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Let's see about the delivery. Able to get a body in the way. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Gets in the way once more. Max Lowe. In Bogason. The cross is on. And mopping up defensively. Well, the hosts have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes and have played some really lovely football going forward. They must now make it count and get themselves in front. 
Good defending. Are being pressed here. Steve Cook. Can they create something from here? But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Really effective shielding under pressure. And news coming through of a goal in the Fulham game. Alex Scott, what can you tell us? It's a goal for Fulham. The shot was ferocious and it went in off the woodwork. It's now 1-0 with 48 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always, Alex. holding the ball up in a decent position well there's been a lot of speculation as regards this transfer and whether it would go ahead it's finally been confirmed Stuart well he's certainly got ability a lot of clubs have been in for him but now he needs to fulfill that potential he might just have to be patient though is it going to be an opportunity Jake Clark, Salter, Allen. And they need to get tighter here. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Philipp Zinkernagel. Here's Alfred Finbogason. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Ryan Yates. Can he finish? Real chance. In it goes. The opening goal in this contest. Well, here's the replay, and it shows how patient they were in the build-up. Just so assured, waiting for the right moment. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? And back underway. 1-0 it is. Mo Ali. Mo Ali, can you please meet Jennifer Bazet at the ticket office? Hamer. Well, as you can see, the hosts have controlled the possession, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. And will it be the leveller? Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? Trying to pick out a teammate. And routine for the keeper in the end. The cross far too close to him. Well, not hard to read that pass. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Crisp tackling. Real 
chance. And in it goes. He's up on his account as a professional. Well, what a great moment for him. Just look how pleased he is with that. Well, let's take another look. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? It's a great turn and shot. What a good goal that is. So, 2-0 now. Good tackle, take it away. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Jones has it. Ryan Yates. And he failed to get it away properly. Danger averted for now. And I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Fulham game. Alex Scott can fill us in. It's a goal for Middlesbrough. They are now behind 2-1 with 82 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. He's going forward well here, and no way through. And a goal kick given. So on the cusp of the final whistle, and the visitors very much in command, Stuart. Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless they have the ball, and they're fighting to win it back whenever they do lose it. It's been a really great performance all round. Oh, he's given it away. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. He's very adept at protecting the ball. And the referee spotted the foul, but, well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Well, not the best effort we've... Well, there goes the final whistle, and it's all gone to plan for the visiting fans. Three points for them. Yes, Derek, that's exactly the start you want. Yes, one or two players looked a little bit tired towards the end of the game, but that's to be expected. Overall, I thought it was a really good display.